welcome to this show up your life skill series of videos today we are talking about leadership skills my name is sk anil kumar leadership every one of us leader in some form or other our leadership skills need not necessarily ask for a title we don't need to have be ceo to act as a leader we can be leaders in our own small ways leadership is an ability to make decisions push comes to show and to manage the situations and people leadership is something more and bigger than manager management there are various forms of leadership skills just like in a football team it's a different people with different capabilities in a football the leadership skill is not one skill but different skills mentoring motivation project management change management problem to solution critical thinking um coaching mentoring managing talent hiring talent making deals making decisions ideation and creative thinking delegating duties resolving the disputes uh, problem solving uh, facilitation of uh, team forming and team work give feedback take feedback inspire and motivate people make difficult conversations with the client or the competitors or even the teams and meeting managing meeting management all these things are part and parcel of the the clearly and succinctly communicates we say he has leadership skills or she is a leader what is and what should be should be communicated that's more important where we are and where we propose to be because you are leading a team explain the goals and the tasks and encourage and rise up to the occasion identify your style and then also give your your team display so that you the specific skills and show up and tone up other capability for the team and for the project there are multiple leadership skills most importantly it is what you decide how you decide and what you implement and what you get out of it managing changes communicating to convince persuasion influence negotiation managing people procedure processes strategic thinking most importantly planning and deliver all these are important nonetheless there is no comprehensive list of leadership skills it is a combination of multiple hues of various capabilities that an individual has communication motivation delegation optimism trustworthiness responsibility creativity feedback you should be willing to take a negative feedback you should feel responsible when something goes wrong you should be trustworthy so that the team stands behind you so having an idea or a vision of where you want to be is not enough but you should work towards achieving it and you should communicate and inspire your team to help you achieve that must be based on evidence your goals or your request for the team to come to the achieve the organizational goal should be based on what the team had done before and what resources it has now and how it can reach there able to gather and analyze information that's an important skill because you have information from multiple sources and then you have to list down the possible choices and you have to decide which is the best and then you have to communicate and then get the buy in of the teams based on their feedback and then inspire them to go for the goal the best vision in the world is no good if you are not able to communicate well the communication could be one to one or a group basis sometimes you will delegate the responsibility or authority even to communicate if you are not good at doing it that is why we have pr firms and marketing teams one need to know how to recruit effectively that is to bring people on board then in through an induction process so that their attitudes are polished enough to and made in line with the organizational objectives one need to know how to manage the change because creation and communication of a compelling vision is an ultimate requirement this may require a shift a paradigm shift in your thought process because you are making a change you are making them accept the change one has to listen actively for this because you have to make the 
change stick you have to take the feedback you have to take from the body language and verbal language what the other person is communicating when you are trying to sell him the idea you have to assert you have to build rapport you have to effectively and quickly establish a working relationship with the all the people relevant in the team so that your team helps you reach your goals you have to encourage innovation in others you have to give them credit for their achievements you may have to use transaction analysis you may have to use your emotional intelligence skills that is to get to know your emotions and feelings as at a well as of the counterpart now there is an isabel briggs myers and a peter myers skills or the mbti system myers briggs system it has four pairs of descriptors judging perceiving thinking feeling intuitive sensing introvert extrovert each one of us have a preference for using one of this or one of these pairs so what happens we have four into four 16 possible personality types each personality type has a different preference for how they view the world and how they like to operate and if you know what is your personality type and what's the personality type of the other person you will be able to see what is likely to interest the other person how they want to work how they will react and then it becomes easy to bring the people together in the team and communicate with them build a rapport and relationship and take forward towards the goal decisiveness is an important leadership skill because you have to make decisions decision making is a day in and day out activity the decisions has to be quick decisions should be based on information and inputs that you get properly analyzed it should be the choice from among the best alternatives and then using your time and experience you should look at or monitor the effect of your decision and then make course corrections if you want to move your projects along faster and improve the efficiency of the team then decisiveness is an important skill as you become familiar with your specific industry if your company the job the area that you are working on the decisions will become faster even when you don't have adequate information about the situation because so some things you get to know something is a gut feeling something is like a back of your hand and it is experience and expertise that gives you such skills relationship or team building as a leader the most important thing is you need to have a very good relationship with all stakeholders and you need to have a wonderful team willing to do anything for you organization must be cohesive there should be effective communication you should be able to convey your expectations what the goal is what the objective is and then the skills on conflict resolution is as important as that of a communication because when you work with multiple people there is always scopes for conflict problems coming up this differences has to be immediately identified and all such issues that are spotted are immediately to be resolved you should also try to prevent the issues from cropping up ability to maintain a team is as important as building a team and the team has to be strong team has to be collaborative team should have trust in each other unless you have a trust you cannot go towards the same goal to build a engaged team great leaders need to learn the skills on building good working relationships so team building skills communication skills relationship management skills all that are required to be a good leader good working relationship improves and increases the engagement of the employees and the team gets a better result the leader should learn to say thank you the leader should be working towards bonding with each other try to find common interests among the teammates which will promote good teamwork retreats and team building games might help in this when the groups works well together productivity improves they will also be work with other groups so the inter company intra company relationship becomes better goals are achieved faster and better ideas are generated when teams are well gelled there is less attrition people don't resign and go away so talent within the organization is retained this is another advantage of a leader having relationship or team building skills many times people don't leave the company or the organization people leave the leaders because of their inability to have a bonding team relationship problem solving and critical thinking skills when you have a conflict resolution requirement when you have a problem solving requirement you need critical thinking you need to innovatively look at how to resolve this problem
If you think from the same angle, you might not have a result. Staying calm, identifying a step-by-step -step solution, resolving obstacles with internal or external team, handling it professionally, not bringing any personal emotions and feelings into the picture, understanding the angle from which the other person is coming by using empathy, all these are important. It is necessary to make a lot of difficult decisions on a daily basis. There is a need to be highly analytical and be need to be objective and rational. When people interact, there are um, difficulties that crop up. So resolving the obstacles, firmly standing by the decisions, making the team work back on a collaborative way again, get them back to work is very important. We have to ensure as a leader, every decision is well researched, objectively scrutinized and all possible outcomes assessed so that we don't have another problem for us to solve and the decisions are well thought of so that it builds trust, reliability. What is dependability? The leader should feel or work in a way that the team feels the leader is dependable. The leader should ensure the team depends on him and it is fair and true. How this can be done? Focus on what is to be done, be results oriented and work in a fashion that people can trust and rely upon you. That means don't backstab them, don't take away their credit, don't withhold their credit, don't abuse them for each and everything of mistake which could be because of you. If a person follows through the plans and keeps the promises and monitors the progress, then a person is supposed to be dependable enough. Resilience is what that matters. In spite of setbacks and problems, we should be able to get up, pick up and keep running. What matters most and why? And also, what impact it has on the organization? What matters most, why and what impact it has on your organization? This the leader should communicate with the team day in and day out. Leadership starts with personal vision, yes, but then the personal leadership is not enough. You need to lead in a professional fashion the team towards the organizational objective. For that you need to prioritize the task, you need to begin with the end in mind and then you need to show you are in command, you know the thing. What is integrity? It's an important leadership skill because it's a part of ethics, the honesty, the sincerity, the truthfulness, being able to make ethical choices. It could go even to the extreme of being environment friendly, being sustainable having and standing by a strong set of values, being a man of principles, it matters because such persons are considered to be leaders and people stick to them come what may. This happens everywhere and every time. If you look at history, integrity is a most important leadership skill that attracts people towards a leader. Honesty. Be a honest man to earn the trust of the stakeholders. As a CEO, whether it is the investor, whether it is the loan that lends you money, whether it is the employees who work for you, whether it is the media, everybody will look with great respect if the leader is a honest person. This skill is more natural than learned or trained. It's a part of ethics and integrity. You don't have to remember every minute to be honest. It is, should be there in your blood. Teams become more engaged if you are found to be an ethical person. You will win your people's trust and make them committed in their jobs. People will be willing to undergo sacrifices if they are working for an honest leader with great integrity. Consistency. Fairness in rewarding behaviors you want to encourage and also giving feedback to behaviors that you want to discourage is very essential. And this a leader has to be consistent. You should not be favoring somebody and finding fault with somebody else. The leader should be consistent in treating each team member equally. Be fair and avoid favoritism or nepotism. Be consistent. If two persons do the same mistake, the same punishment should be there. If a mistake is committed yesterday and today, it should be the same rules. Consistency is what matters. So the response from the leader towards the team should be predictable based on outlined expected outcomes. Mentoring and delegation. Develop yourself first. Keep learning. Be, a, be the expert. 
ability to coach and teach guide and mentor other person is also important it's not just if you know it is enough you should be able to coach teach guide and mentor your team build the leadership skills of those individuals also who have the potential so that the organization benefits from a growing pool of talent you also give them opportunity to do something more than what their role and responsibility is this will boost their morale this will help them learn they will be more engaged they will be more willing to help the organization ability to effectively teach the colleagues ability to grow in their careers one's own careers and help others to grow in their careers all these are part of the leadership skills think less about themselves and think more about the team's success that is what the leaders who are mentoring or delegation skillful will be delegation does not mean offloading work so that you can have less stress as a leader delegation means you are trying to get more time to do more better things so that your team will be more comfortable delegation means you are giving the work to somebody because they are the experts delegation means you are asking somebody to do something extra so that they become better trained to handle that in future delegation is not shirking responsibility communication skills that the leadership should have is to first sell your idea no idea is good unless it is properly sold a good communication leads to less conflict better negotiation outcomes and it encourages solid relationship building within the organization people are initially hired for their skills in specific area but are promoted for their good communication skills it matters a lot because you have to listen and when you sometimes what is not said is more good than what is said you have to look at the nonverbal cues it, it it is a most important skill that you should have when to speak what to speak with whom to speak awareness being aware of your potential as well as the areas that you need to develop because everybody has a scope to grow there are always certain things where you are not good at be mindful be aware of what your what your capabilities are what you lack what is your minus points where you go wrong know thyself improve thyself and complement thyself this is awareness and this you have to do for you for your team and the for the people whom you depend upon to reach the organizational goal avoid the pitfalls what are the pitfalls arrogance and complacency the leader should have the ability to empathize and listen every fish cannot climb a tree you should know and you should have various talents in the team that complement each other so that as a team cohesively they can win you need to know how to survive and to seek help because as a fish you cannot grow you need to know you cannot climb a tree you need to know whose help you should take whether it is a monkey or a bird accept that there are things that you have yet to learn accept that not everybody is an expert accept that there is always room for improvement a team is composed of different individuals they all have different strengths and they should complement each other and you should not find fault with somebody lacking in something you should try to see how each one can be developed to the extent necessary for the team to work well the leader should be aware of what value each person brings to the team and to the company leader should decipher a person's emotion and know, know how best to use it this awareness helps a lot in keeping the rapo in the team well oiled control your priorities manage the time the most precious resource know what is urgent and what is important know how to be effective and when to be efficient know what is hard work and what is smart work help the team understand this make the objectives clear and the goals should be well defined workloads can easily pile up and it can be daunting to think about how much time you will need to finish your work so time management is very important if you have to control your priorities and focus your energy on what is pressing and that will take you closer to the goal ensure that the team stay on track ensure that the teams stay on track give proper feedback continuously monitor give them criticism positively give them feedback regularly the ability to give feedback to appreciate to recognize to correct or reprimand this is necessary for a leader 39% of the employees do not feel appreciated at work employee dissatisfaction causes high employee turnover and less efficiency 93% of the managers need training or coaching so the managers don't have capability or ability to train so they need training on coaching their employees 93% people leave their bosses not their jobs 
if the right feedback is given at the right time people will feel connected and become more engaged at the workplace focus on the objectives is ensured only if positive criticism in place so for this one can use the styles of the one minute manager one minute criticism one minute appreciation etc organizational skills are required for a leader setting goals planning the execution seeing the implementation through reviewing the outcome identifying the areas of improvement are all parts of organization and planning workplace to be the stressful environment that is a natural belief but it is so only if it is not systematized if it is not systemic if everything is systematically planned workplace is a breeze make workflows leaner identify the defects to eliminate make it agile so leadership skill is nothing but your ability to go above and go beyond leadership skill is nothing but your ability to go above and go beyond be a value creator what is a value creator you spend more than the minimum required you give more to the company than what the company expects you give more than what you take someone who goes above and beyond the minimum expectation is a value creator someone who drives the people to do better each time is a value creator someone who raises the bar every time and someone for whom the standard becomes higher for the next one who will be doing the same work is a value creator value creator is the one who competes against himself value creator is the one who makes his team today better than what they were yesterday be a value creator you will be a leader thanks for watching this video please keep coming back for more such sessions on shore up your life skills we were talking about leadership skills and i'll call you